American service? We know it. And he was like, this is it. I miss this. I want to go back to it. <laughs> and I never left. <laughs> so I've been here ever since and enjoying it. How long have you been a part of St. Lawrence Church? Uh, technically since birth. Um, I was born, believe it or not, from uh, 1979. So by 1980, I was uh, baptized here. And I was also confirmed here in the 90s. <laughs> wow. Community about the church. People from different islands. So there's a certain mixture of the different cultures. So there is a lot of variation that we have here. <laughs> Um, one of our members used to live on the other side of the fence, so whenever it was time for Sunday school, a bunch of us kids would be still in the parking lot, and we're like, okay, we're not going in as yet, we're waiting for so-and-so, and they would just hop over the fence to join everybody else, and we all go in together for Sunday school. Wow. <laughs> awesome. Uh, my name is uh, Tapiwa Huggins Kusha. Born in Zimbabwe um, and ordained uh, in, uh, in St. Mary's and All Saints Cathedral in the Anglican Diocese of Harare uh, seven years ago. I did my theological education at uh, Bishop Gore College, uh, the biggest theological seminary in the province of Central Africa. And um, when I was in Zimbabwe, I served in quite a number of parishes. Besides being a, an ordained minister, I'm also a founder member of Southern Africa Interfaith and Peace Academy. I felt that uh, my life and my family's life was no longer safe in Zimbabwe. Then we decided to flee, hence we uh, fortunately, we had already scheduled a trip to America where I was supposed to deliver a lecture. Since I was the, the, the academic dean at Bishop Go College, so I was invited. So we used those um, same tickets and visas to come to America. Then you stayed in America just for a day. Then knowingly that uh, America is not that, safe, uh, that a safe destination, we made a decision to cross over to Canada and we arrived in Canada on the 29th of November 2019 as asylum seekers and when we arrived here in Montreal our intention was just to proceed to another English speaking um, state or province but when we arrived here for the uh, few days we have been here in Montreal uh, we worshipped at the cathedral for a few Sundays and we were fortunate to meet Bishop Mary there. She invited us to a place with Mark, the husband. They received us uh, very well and we felt so much at home. Um, and we changed our mind. So we have decided now to stay here in, uh, in Montreal. And then Bishop Mary later on uh, gave me a license to uh, to to minister here at St. Lawrence Anglican Church in La Salle. That's my story, in short. We felt and we are still feeling at home here in Montreal. 
generally St. Lawrence LaSalle, uh, St. Lawrence here in LaSalle. For us, uh, in, uh, for the short stay we've been here, it's proved it to be a very uh, welcoming congregation with open people, very free people. So far, so good. We are enjoying our stay. And uh, we wish God will guide us and continue to minister in this parish. Okay, my name is Noel Mon. I um, have been at this church now from 1972. Currently, I am the treasurer of the church. My, my vision of the church is that we... I'm all for the growth of the church. I, I think that we can grow, we have the potential of growth. We just have to have the, 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 the motivation. We, we can't just look at the church as a place where we just come and meet on a Sunday. Uh, we, we, we come here as a family to assist each other, to help each other in whatever way possible. Thank you. Mm -hmm. okay. This is Edwards Jarvis and I've been a member of St. Lawrence since I think 1981 we have a very tight knit church community so I am sure that we will overcome all of the obstacles. My name is Merlene Howard and I am one of the deacons here and um, I have been here I think from around 1972 three or four somewhere around there that our congregation will be vibrant and the people will draw closer to the Lord. The, the thing about St. Lawrence is that most of us are from the, all, most of us are from the islands. Then I would say about 75% of us are from the same island. So we all have that kind of relationship, that connection with each other. One thing about St. Lawrence people is that if there's a need, we can call on them and they will they will rise to that need. We, we, we have no problems. Yeah. The hospitality and the friendliness here. Because I have visited in the past, in the summer, before I was a deacon, I used to go to churches all over the place. And, um, there's a liveliness here that you don't find anywhere I, f I find. Well, I like I like the the singing and uh, the participation of everybody, you know. So, and I think most of St. Lawrence people love to sing, so I love I love that part of it. Yeah. Mm -mm. Well, I started out worshiping at St. John Bebeuf when I I came here in. 1975 and then my mom and she came to visit and she wanted to worship one of the members um, from here she came to my door selling Avon product and um, I said to her do you know of any Anglican church around here and she said yeah it's just down the street so then I brought my mom down and when I came with her I said Oh my God, I'm home. This is it. <laughs> this is it. I missed this. <laughs> I never went back over there. <laughs> and, and then my children, they used to go to the Sunday school over there at nine. And then as soon as they get back home, then they'd come here at 11 with me. So they were, they were in church for the yeah, whole time. I remember I was in Sunday school with your daughters. <laughs> I, so it's like, I'm home. I, yeah. This is it. I heard the singing. Anglicans, we know our hymns, we know everything. When we hear an Anglican service, we know it. And it was like, this is it. I miss this. I want to go back to it. <laughs> and I never left. <laughs> so I've been here ever since and enjoying it. You know, and as he said, it's a Caribbean thing. And you walk into the church and everybody know, everybody has the same feeling. We're Caribbean people. We stick together. When we have a function, the food, everything is perfect and we enjoy that we, we love that we enjoy that it's like an extension from the caribbean when you come here so 
That's why we are here. <laughs> and it just trickles down to the next generation exactly. afterwards because, exactly. as I mentioned, I remember going to Sunday school and co uh, and like um, youth group with your daughters, and basically we're still tight even though we don't see each other all the time. But like, the second we come together is just like old times all over again. <laughs> Let me <see. laughs> The pity seems to be very welcoming and free um, parish with good congregation. I think they share quite a number of things in common. But for the mm, short time I've been here, I also appreciated uh, the kind of the parish uh, spirituality. It seems like they have a uh, balanced spirituality, a balance in the sense that the spirituality which accommodates maybe old and young people. The liturgy is somehow very observant of key Anglican traditions. And at the same time, I think we also appreciate some kind of evangelical approach when it comes maybe to singing and uh, the preaching of the gospel, which for me is a, a really good thing because the church should accommodate almost everyone if possible. Yes. My name is June Nurse. Um, I come to St. Lawrence, I'm part of the hospitality and uh, ACW seniors. I love St. Lawrence uh, because of the family orientated people around me. They're very friendly, sometimes, most of the time. So. Um, I've been coming here since my kids were uh, born, like I have three kids and now they're over 30 years old and so over 30 years I've been coming here. But it has to do with the camaraderie that we all have here at St. Lawrence and if you come to St. Lawrence you'll realize that the people at St. Lawrence they know their scriptures, they know what a church should be like mm -hmm. and they will question the priests. So you better be careful, Tafua. <laughs> <laughs> They're watching you. Yes, yes, yes. Also, we're not afraid to experiment here because we've experimented with different service formats, we've experimented with our music. <laughs> 